In this video, we are going to take a look at another standard feature that might often be overlooked in FL Studio, the use of envelopes. No, this feature is not used to seal up your sound, but what it can do is control the amplitude of your samples over time. Let's say, for example, you have a nice pad sample, but the start of the sample has a very fast attack and you want to soften it up. This would be a perfect job for the envelope filter. By setting the attack value for the volume envelope filter, you are essentially creating a fade in, and you can easily see this virtually on the envelope's display window. Let's have a listen now to my sample before and after I apply the envelope filter. You may have noticed that when I let go of the key, the sample stops its playback, whereas before I enabled the envelope, the sample would continue to play long after I let go of the key. So you can see that the envelope filter's job is also to take care of the sound stopping after the note is released. Of course, this is done with the envelope filter's release knob. Listen as I extend the release amount and how the sample can still be heard for a while after I let go of the key. Now, if I shorten the release time, you can hear that the note ends sooner after I release the key. The other controls affect how the sound is to be heard after the attack has reached its full level. The hold control affects how long the sound remains at its highest amplitude before it falls into the level of the decay time. And the decay time will affect how fast the sound falls to its sustain level, which is the level the sample will be at when you release the key. Obviously, if you release the key before the hold level begins to drop, then when you release the key, the level will suddenly drop to the release level. Use envelopes to create more of a melodic sound from pretty much any sample, no matter how long the sustain or hold is. Take here a sample that I love the tone of, and I want to use this to create a funky clav type sound. Let's have a listen to how it would sound if I were to play a few quick notes in succession. Whoa, not quite the sound I had in mind. So for this, I need, of course, my trusty envelope filters. After enabling them, right away you can hear a difference. The notes don't play on forever, allowing me to use this sample to play some more melodic material. From here, I simply need to only tweak the envelope perimeters to achieve the desired sound. Now here I only demonstrated to you the envelopes and how they affect the level of a sample. From the volume tab, the pan, cut, and resonance and pitch sections also have their own envelope filters to control these perimeters as well. By now, you should have a better understanding of what an envelope filter does and how you can apply it to not only control the levels of your sample, but as well as the panning, cutoff, resonance, and the pitch of your sound, which allows you to open up your resources to almost anything in terms of samples in order to build a great sound source for any melodic line.